Oh my god, I can't believe they did this to me. Really? Bubble wrap? It's gonna be take forever to open this shit. I don't... Oh god, my brain. I gotta put this shit in there and... I don't know. My brain hurts. Okay, you know what? Fuck this shit. I don't have time. What is going on, people of YouTube? My name is Colonel Nigla and or the Nuke 52 if you prefer that name better. And today is a very special day because I have received some of the parts that I've worked so hard to to be able to upgrade my computer finally. Now... I'm gonna go ahead and start doing it. This is a vlog, by the way, if you haven't figured it out, obviously, if you haven't read the title. But anyways, I've got enough few pieces where I can start, um, actually start rebuilding my computer that I'm gonna start be using and make it a lot more powerful. I've started working a few weeks. Actually, I think it's been, like, a few months. I think it's been, like, at least a month or two. At least a month or two. And, um, I've got some parts that I want to show you guys before I start building. And, um, I just want to let you know how where we're going with this and... I'm going to actually build it in front of you guys as the best as I can because I really don't have a proper camera to show you this shit, so I'm just going to use my phone. But either way, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay, the first thing we're going to um, start with is the motherboard, which is a MSI B85M gaming motherboard. It has these awards, and it's for Intel i5 and i7. Not sure if you can see that, don't care. Um, let's go ahead and open this one-handed because I'm holding the phone with the other hand like a dumbass, but it's the best I got. As you can see here, here is the wonderful motherboard. Here are the two slots for the graphics. Here are the little thingies I'll show you in a minute. And uh, two GPU slots stand for graphics cards. And I'm gonna hold this little heatsink shield thingy, whatever the fuck it is. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and Hold that so you guys can hold on. Hold, let me put this in my lap for a second. Up, oh, shit, I almost dropped the damn thing. I don't want to drop the damn thing yet. I didn't even use it. Okay, so now we got all these wonderful ports. I see a few USB ports and graphic slots and audios and all that wonderful niggy jiggy shit. I see one, two, three, four, five, six USB ports. And I see two 3.0. Here's the CPU goes. And here's your four RAM slots and this box that I think lights up. I have no idea what the fuck the Dragon Box does, but it looks extremely cool. I'm gonna put this down for a second, and um, the first thing I want to show you is things that under it that this box also has. It came with it. <coughs> it came with the um. Hold on. It comes with this little bezel thingy that um it goes on the case of your computer, which I'll show you in a minute. Then you have the install installation CD that installs shit. There's that. And uh, here we have a manual, which you will use if you're building this shit and don't know what to do. And uh, I don't need that fucking shit, so get that shit out of here. Fuck manuals. Do, do this shit myself. But anyways, and then we have this uh, door handle thing, which it says, I'm not here when you're fapping and or gaming. And then you get to the back, it says, I'm sorry, busy, quote unquote, gaming. Probably won't use this no time soon, but whatever. Okay, the next thing we're going to be using, or showing you, is the EVGA 500 watt power supply, made by EVGA, obviously, even though some people, sometimes I can't read the E and the G, but it's, shut up phone, shut the fuck up, anyways, this is what the box looks like, and uh, get that shit out of here, damn it, people are bothering me, I'm trying to do shit, and this is what the actual power supply looks like, nice little sexy shiny little box, <coughs> again, that is 500 watts, for, uh, it seems to be pretty standard. I think that's, like, less in your refrigerator, so I'm not really care. So we got this, uh, I think this is a Seder or some shit. Yeah, two Seders, I think. I can't really tell. Get that shit out of here. And I think I got what looks like a fucking... Another type of Seder. More Seders, I think. I don't, not really sure. <coughs> and we got two, uh, Molex thingamajigs here. Four, I think. No, just two. And, uh, what else we got? We got, uh, look like a... Graphics uh, six pin, six pin. Yeah, I've never seen this. This is my first time looking at this because my first build never seen in my life. But anyways, and then we have this uh, 20 plus four pin, which is used to power up the main thing. The motherboard, which I will show you. However, then you have the two CPU plus fours. I think I only need one this time. I think if you have a full motherboard, you need eight of them. So that's why there's two together. And then I think that's it. Hold on. We're going to be putting it in that case, which I'm going to show you more of that case in a minute. But, and we're going to use that motherboard, of course. <coughs> we're going to be using that shit. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But, this is the power supply. Okay, now, I am going to show you what case I am putting everything in. This is the Zygmatech Vanguard case. And it is a micro um, ATX case, which is... 
but it is suit for gaming and um as you can see at the top here there's the buttons they got a little cool little vents and my best part handles on top and bottom i think that's my favorite part making this computer completely portable to carry around because it has fucking handles that is awesome there is the bezel i told you about and uh looks very nice on this side of the case it looks very well put together the window looks amazing but let's go ahead and show you the inside here oh my god it's not like complete destruction from this motherfucker okay the power supply would sit here and here's some other components a fan goes there hard drives and shit i think goes in there optical disc or dvd whatever the fuck you call it don't goes in there motherboard goes here there's another fan i think just some slots for the graphics i had to take some out because um i had to test to see if shit fits and so far things look like it fits so that's a good thing that's always a good thing to make sure you check to see if your shit fix and it has these little cool these little holes here that i broke the little thingies to but that's okay but they're for cable management and it looks pretty cool to wire cables through and uh i just love the whole finish and mesh feeling and all the steel and plastic all together just looks real nice and this hexagon shit who the fuck you peeping at and this hexagon shit looks very nice <clears throat> sorry about that i don't know what the fuck's going on outside but i'm going to give you a closer look of the inside of the hard drive cages and um i think you can put some more hard drives and solid state drive okay i'm gonna now start assembling shit onto the motherboard here's where the cpu goes these two things over here these little slots here those are for graphic cards and uh, over here, you got four slots for RAM, one, two, three, four, I count them. And I'm gonna push this shit closer so you can see. Hope I don't make the camera fall, but here you go. These two slots right here, I'm gonna put um, two of these Kingston value four gigabyte sticks. Two, I got two of them, four gigabytes each, eight gigabytes all together. And then um, I put them here, which I'm gonna do in a minute. But first, let me show you what the uh, CPU looks like for a second. Hold on, let me grab it out real quick. Okay, here we go, CPU, and uh, stop bothering me, people! God damn it, I hate people sometimes. Anyways, let me open this up and show you what this shit looks like. Hold on. Hold on a second. <coughs> Leave me alone, whoever you are. Kiss a rock. Alright, um, here's the, uh... Intel Core i5-4690K. It is what the back of it looks like. It is very important that you do not touch any of this shit right here when you install the cpu because you could cause damage blah, blah 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 so uh don't fucking touch it it's just better that you just don't touch it i know the gold plate makes you want to touch it just don't touch it anyways here's what the front looks like can't really see it because i got the light on this camera so fucking bright and i got a little bit of heat thermal skeet on it paste stuff okay and i'm gonna push this camera over here so you can see me literally take off this latch and shit and um install this cpu in here First thing you do is just take off this little latch. It really doesn't hard to do. It's probably one of the easiest thing in the entire build to do. Secondly, you take off this little black plate, which is annoying the shit out of me right now. Get the fuck off. All right, good. We're good. That's it. Don't mean shit. Just anywhere. It doesn't matter. Let's take a look at it. All right, now we're going to lift up this thingy here, and we're going to take our CPU over here. Hold on a second. Damn it. <coughs> All right. Here we go. Here is the CPU. There is a yellow line here. I mean, a yellow arrow. You're supposed to point that to the, uh, see it right here. Right here, you see it, right? Okay, good. You see it? Okay, you can't say you can't see it. I'm not sure if you can see it real well, but whatever. It goes with this corner right here. But hold on, let me see if I can do a close-up so you can see it better. Anyways, this is how you would put this on here, just like that. Don't put any pressure on it. Make sure it's lined up nice and perfectly. Like I said, don't put any pressure onto this motherfucker. Let me see if I can get you a closer look and see how it is lined up. Hold on. Sorry if it's a little bright. I, my room is very dark. You wouldn't see shit without the like, flashlight on here. But anyways, look. Right there. See it? Right there. Alright, make sure that's all lined up. Let me make sure I put this on right. Make sure it doesn't fuck up and fall. Okay. Good. Now, after you done line that up, make sure you put no pressure into it all. That's what this is for. And uh, you're going to twist this. Push it down. Don't push it too hard, but put a lot of force into it. And then you're just going to take this thing and push it back into the latch just like that. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on a second. Push down. Make sure you don't break it. And uh, just push it in and put this back into the little latch right there. This little thingy. Hold on. What the fuck am I doing wrong? Push down. And there we go. Just like that. Leave it. Leave it. Don't, don't do anything else to it. That's done. CPU is installed. That's all we had to do. Fuck! <laughs> People 
you won't leave me alone. Can't y'all wait? Shit. Anyways, now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna install the two RAM sticks. What we're gonna do is take off these little fuckers right here. And, um, hold on. I'm gonna get the RAM sticks for a second. All right, here we go. This is one Kingston Slim 4 gigabyte. I'm gonna put it in, I think it goes, hold on, let me think for a second. It goes in like, I think this way. No, this way. Shit, yeah, this side. Actually, no, I can't remember, hold on. Like this, okay, like this, here we go. Now you're gonna keep pushing until you hear one click, two click. If you don't hear the clicks, that means you didn't do it right. I mean, that's the best way to put it. Don't put too much pressure on it, but you need to put a lot of pressure on it, you know what I mean? I don't want you to break the damn thing, but it is okay to put pressure on these, just not so much. Just enough to hear the click. Sometimes you won't hear it completely, just make sure you feel the clicks as you push down the ram sticks, and then you're done. Ram is installed. Now I got this little uh, heat sink fan that goes onto the air. Uh, CPU. This is just a normal Intel. I don't plan on overclocking, so this would be do just fine. Got some thermal skeet on the back of it. I like this one better than the old ones because it has a nice copper on it. As you can see, it says Intel, and you got this little cord here, which, uh, yeah. Sorry, I just got sidetracked for a second. Um, okay. Now, what this do is goes directly. There's these four pins here. I hate these fucking things, but it's all right. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and latch these four thing pins. I hate this pin system. It really, I really do. We should just screw it down, but we can't. But anyways, put that down. I'm just gonna go ahead and snap that into place, and snap another one. Oh, I'm gonna turn the goddamn thing. See, this is why I hate it. This motherfucker always gets on my damn nerves. Snap that. Okay, that these two are in place. Now I got this one here. Come on, oh, bastard. I gotta turn it a specific way to make sure it lats on tight. Then you just click. Alright, that one's down. And now I can do that one. Make sure it's on right. Hold on. Nope. I click again. Make sure it's down firmly because you don't want this shit to fall off inside your computer. Alright, hold on. I think I got it this time. Ugh. Nope. Hold on. God damn. You know what? I think I got it. I didn't hear a click, but like I said, now this here, this is the more room that I need here. As you can see, there's a lot of extra room here. What I do is, able to cut the room is, is I do a little small little tie here. I don't do it too tight because I don't want you to fuck up the wires, but I go ahead and just tie this into a little pretty little knot, enough for it to be taken out. And um, then I connect it here so it wouldn't be all over the fucking place. So this little three pin here, I'm not sure if you can see it, hold on. It's a little three pin connector, oh shit, hold on. I'm gonna do the one up here, but that's what it looks like over here. I'm gonna do the one up here, you know what, no. Let me go back and put it right here. Let me go ahead and put it right here. Okay, here we go. Hold up, turn around like a dumbass. Make sure this part, shit. <laughs> I have a technical difficulties here, but we got this. All right, here we go. And I'm just gonna gently push on it. There, that's done. I think that's everything. I got the RAM, I got the CPU, got the fan. For far, so far, that's all we gotta do right now. Um, hold on. Don't forget to refer to your manual for when things go wrong. Always refer to your RAM when things go wrong. You see this? Yeah. Always. Manual's very important. It's very important. You know what I'm saying? It's very important to have this. Yeah. Manual's always the number one thing. Just fucking shut my face. Fuck manuals. Anyways. I think that's it. Sorry, I think I might have this upside down. Fuck, I do. Oh well. Fuck it. You can see it, right? All right, so, now that I done. All right, so here we are with my old parts mixed in with the new motherboard and shit installed. And um, I got this shit connected to my hard drive over here. Up, oh, SATAs and shit. Hold on, all that, good shit. This CPU goes here. This is able to power up your uh, computer chip thingy. Make sure you plug this in right here. This is the Ford thing that I told you about earlier when I was doing the EVGA 500. This is not the EVGA 500, by the way, at the moment. This is another one. It's like a 400, 480, I think. It's my old one. It's 
But anyways, it doesn't matter. We're just using it to test the motherboard and make sure everything is installed right. Okay, here's the old GT640 graphics plugged into. Shit, I got the mouse and the keyboard and all that bullshit together. And here we are at the testing station with the two monitors. Jesus Christ, it is loud as fuck outside right now. But anyways, here we go. We're going to take a something metal object and you're going to take these two... This one. I'm just going to fuck each other in the ass with it. No, I'm kidding. We're going to take this... And we're actually gonna take this two pins right here, and we're just gonna make them touch each other. And then magic happens. Look at that. What the fuck is that noise? Hold up. What is that? Holy shit, that sounded awesome as fuck. It sounded like a race car going on. What the fuck is that? What's going on? What does that say? CPU memory has changed. Please enter the setup or continue to configure your system. Yes. Oh my god, did anyone else hear that shit? <laughs> that was amazing. What the fuck was that? This is the sound of complete success. Oh my god, I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to make that sound at all, but that was fucking amazing. Anyways, oh yeah, everything is working just fine. I don't even want to do research into that sound. It just sounded amazing. I don't even care if it's sounding something broke. Look at that, it's an overclock profile. Holy shit, look at the BIOS in this thing. We got temperature of 39, which means the thermal skeet is working. Here we go with our settings, more overclock and shit. I don't want to overclock. I just want to check the RAM and shit to make sure that I got 8 gigabytes. Oh shit. Forgot to install the Wi-Fi. Oh well. Let's see, overclock hardware monitor. No. I'm looking for the, uh... Okay, let's go with hardware monitor. That might be what I'm looking for. Hold on. What am I looking at? Nope. Wait, hold on. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm, no, I, I'm used to the old BIOS, so I have no idea what the hell I'm doing here. I'm not used to this cool-ass, updated shit. Oh, lordy lord. Okay, here we go. System status. Uh-huh. Data port to 1,000 gigabytes. Let's see here. We got... New version. There we go. Physical memory, 8 gigabytes. Awesome. That means that everything that I installed that I showed you, we did right, and we did not blow up the com computer. Congrats. Congrats to all of us. We did this together. Well, it makes sure I did it, but you guys watched, so therefore we were as a team. Anyway, so let's go on and make sure that this shit is working completely. You can hear the shit outside, but here we go. We got all the fans. Everything is running like it's supposed to, and um, this is running great. Now, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is actually is I don't have my graphics card yet, so this is only going to be part one. <coughs> but, it is coming in the mail soon, so when it comes, I will do the part two of this video, and um, we will start completing the profile. I'll put in the graphics card, test it all, and that good shit, and then I'm going to put it all in the case. There's people knocking. Anyways, I guess I'll see you guys later then.